What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to The Informed Trader. My name is Chris. Every day on this channel we analyze the stock market and I just try to give you the information you need to find the next ticker symbol to add to your watch list or invest in. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. If you're new to the channel, I'd really appreciate if you could sub. We were able to grow to 100 subscribers fairly quick and I just want to thank all of you for that. Couldn't have done it without you. Now today's topic. GameStop and AMC. Now, obviously, I'm not just going to be here to give you a bunch of confirmation bias or anything like that. There's a whole Reddit page called Wall Street Bets that you can go get that from. So I just want to go over a couple key factors and my plays that I'm making because things are getting real. All right. If you're looking at the middle of this graph here, you'll notice that around 1217, we dropped a total of $174. So the price reached 348 in GameStop and dropped $174 in 30 minutes. In the time that I was watching it, I did not see any halts in the market on this stock or AMC. AMC and GameStop were very similar in price if you just scroll back and forth on them. Obviously, GameStop is positive on the day. AMC has taken more of a hit but their graphs are almost identical, okay? So I don't know exactly how to explain it. If you guys want um, some in-depth details on what people believe it was, go over to Trey's Trades. He has a great video on hedge funds, short-selling ladder strategies and things like that, which is technically not legal. I don't know what happened, but I wanna dive into a little bit at what the potential is. Obviously, we're looking for that squeeze. We're looking for shorts to cover. That's the goal here, right? Things are coming to a head, okay? You don't just gain $100 every Every week just casually as a stock and something big not go down and obviously something big did go down today GameStop is positive on the day with AMC negative but let's go over a couple key factors that I think will have an influence on what's going on and then I'll give you my two cents number one Congress passes Biden's COVID-19 stimulus bill the bill passed in the house today now it goes over to Joe Biden's desk to be signed and we're getting checks as soon as next week so keep that in mind I have a tweet here that says for reference I said GME was a whales game 45 minutes ago, Wales put 4 million in put positions, hoping to force a drop, and here we are. All right, so there's a, a theory on what happened with the crazy price fluctuation today. Here's another opinion. Just so everyone knows, this is in regards to AMC. Of course, GME and AMC are very connected. The SSR was not triggered, needed to get below $9.46 for SSR to trigger. That was just a coordinated bull trap. One of two things will happen today into tomorrow. They will bull trap in after hours and pre-market one more time before tomorrow's boom. Or they will run it up in after hours and pre-market, then bull trap again mid-morning before the afternoon into after hours push. Remember, AMC counts shares starting tomorrow. When that happens, if Shorty gets caught with counterfeits, the SEC will come knocking on their door. A naked short squeeze this week might propel us into a gamma squeeze next week, which could trigger the real short squeeze end of next week into last week of March. Just know we have them where we want them right now. And last news of significance today from AMC. Down here it says Richard Greenfield has a target price of one cent for end of year. All right, so this guy says... AMC will be worth one cent per share by end of year. And you can imagine how this spurs on the apes from Wall Street Bets even more. Let me give you my two cents real quick and then I'll show you my positions. I believe with the stimulus, it's going to play a big factor in the stock market in general, but particularly GME and AMC. Now let me show you why. Young retail investors plan to spend almost half of their stimulus check on stocks. Now let me ask you, do you think a lot of this money is gonna go into ETFs and traditional mutual funds or things like that? Uh, it could, but I don't think so. What I think is going to happen is a lot of this money is going to go into the stocks that everyone's been pumping, all right, that the news has been covering, that the Wall Street Bets platform has grown by 9 million members, and a lot of those people are getting stimulus checks, and it's going to go into meme stocks and super popular high growth stocks, which I believe will include GME and AMC. Now, my thought process is GME is at a higher price target right now, and you look at AMC versus GME, AMC is cheaper. You can own more shares. I think AMC is going to get a big pump. I could be wrong because GME is obviously the king, but I went ahead and went with a gameplay for AMC. Let me show you. This morning, I opened up a call spread for AMC with 22 contracts. I've got most of them expiring next Friday and then a couple expiring the week after. Uh, 22 calls altogether. I'm negative $52 on it right now. Obviously, I'm not going to invest any money that I'm not willing to lose, and you shouldn't either especially in meme stocks like this. And then I went ahead and dropped around $700 on 66 shares at an average cost of $11.12. Now, the reason I went with a call spread for AMC versus a GameStop call spread is GameStop premiums are out of this world ridiculous, okay? 
Now, not saying that they can't go higher, because they are, but if AMC starts to have the volatility that GameStop has, I'm talking about, you know, five, ten dollar fluctuations in price, then the Vega on the options will go crazy, causing AMC premiums on their options to spike like crazy. You're going to start looking at the same prices that GameStop had on their options. And that's what I'm kind of banking on here. You always try to make a play one step before the play happens, all right? You're always trying to plan ahead, and so we'll see if this pans out or not. I'm sure I'll make a little profit on it. I was up $500 at one point on these calls, but I didn't sell, obviously, because I'm banking on a heavier push to the upside. I'm banking on these premiums for the contracts to go really high if we can get into the 20, 30, 40, and on range. And of course, everyone wants this to hit 100. People are looking for a $1,000 push. We'll see if that even happens. Hopefully, I can turn this into a couple grand profit in the end. That's what I'm really hoping for. Now, just remember a couple factors. AMC has their earnings call tonight. And then I'm also playing this speculation call on checks hitting bank accounts next week. All right, stimulus checks. So we'll see what happens. I also bought three shares, 3.2 shares of GameStop right at the peak, right at $346 a share, right before the big drop off. So kind of a loss there, but it's a thousand dollars I'm willing to lose and that way I could get in on a little bit of what's going on just because the potential is there and this is history but anyway yeah thanks for stopping by the channel if you're new please leave a like and subscribe we're growing here every day become part of the community don't miss a single daily update on the stock market you're on the informed trader be smart do your due diligence invest wisely guys I'll catch you in the next video